Okay, I've done a hypothetical experiment. I'm making this data up, but I changed the position and I measured the speed. So here's the raw data graph. As I go along the graph, it's a nice smooth curve, and then bam, there's a clear outlier right between 30 and 40. Right, at, right here at x equals 35, that's my outlier. And look at the log log graph. You see how this outlier is so much higher? And it's, it's not great because here's the thing. This outlier right here is pulling the line up. Now we cannot delete data from, from the uh, experiment. That's bad practice. But, you know, you're allowed to, you're allowed to exclude the outlier from the analysis, right? We're not deleting it. We're just excluding it. So first, why would we do this? Well, it's an outlier. I want it to stay an outlier. If I keep it in with the analysis, then I'm going to let it affect the trend. And then the trend will kind of consider it to be less, you know, less of an outlier because the trend is trying to rise up to meet all the data, including this guy. So I'm going to exclude it. I'm going to keep it as an outlier. I will still have it on all my graphs. But the question is, how do we do that? Well, let me show you. You right click, you select data. We're going to edit our series. And in the X values, I'm going to highlight all the way up to the outlier. Then I'll hit a comma and then I'm going to finish off the data. On my Y values, I erase what I've got. I highlight, comma, skip the outlier, and then finish off the data. Now, you, I know what you're thinking. The outlier is gone. Let's add it back in as its own series. I'm going to click just, whoops, just that X value and just that Y value. And you can see it's a different color. We'll have to fix that. But first, let's do the same thing down here. Select data, edit. I'm going to erase the X values, hit a comma, and then finish off, whoops, just those. I erase, I highlight up to the outlier, comma, then I finish off the data, and I add a new series with just the outlier, just its X value and just its Y value. And look at this, now when I add a trend line, and I add a trend line for, let me do that, let me click, right click on one of these data points, add trend line. I'll display the equation. This trend line is for the black data series, those black data points. And it does not include this data point, even though it's on the graph, because it's a separate series. So OK, now I have to double click. Let me move this over so we can see. I have to double click, go to the paint can, change the marker, not the line. There is no line here. And I'm going to do marker options built in. I got to choose the right shape, choose the right size. Is that right? No, that's too small. So let me go back to paint can, marker, <clears throat> marker options. Five seems about right. And then I'm going to change the shape of uh, the color to black. That's the, <clears throat> let's see, fill. I need the fill color. And I'm going to make that black. Then I'll do the same thing for this graph down here. I'm going to change the marker, marker options, built in. I want the square, but I want it to be five. Then I go to fill. I change the fill color to black. And the border color has to be black as well. And that's how you include the outlier without, uh, that's how you exclude it from the analysis without uh, ex without deleting it altogether from the data. And then, you know, when I get my, look at this, the power, the slope of this log log graph is negative 0.99. I'll just round that to negative one. So now I can actually get a better result, m to the negative one. Whoops, let's erase that. I'm gonna make this negative one, my n, well, I don't need that. I'm going to calculate equals this to the power of negative one. Paste this all in. Now it's including this outlier. I have to fix this graph. Select data. I've got to use the same trick. Edit. I erase the x values. Choose only up to the outlier. Hit a comma. Skip the outlier and finish the data. Choose only up for the y values, only up to the outlier. Skip it. Hit a comma and then add the rest. 
and then we create a second series with just the outlier. And I have to go through the same trick, but look at this. That outlier is not going to impact my data. It's not going to affect my final function, which is exactly what I want.